Tonight, a bill that would ban most abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy fails to advance in the General Assembly. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco has the latest. Well, during an election debate, Governor Glenn Youngkin said that he would support a ban on abortion once a fetus can feel pain, a threshold that is contested. But now, with the fate of Roe versus Wade in question, House Republicans are backing down from that effort, and Governor Youngkin so far is declining to comment. Despite those calls from the state capitol last year, we will abolish abortion. The most controversial abortion bill of the 2022 session coming up short. The Senate Education and Health Committee killing legislation that would have banned abortions after 20 weeks unless a mother's health was at risk. Current state law allows elective abortions up until the 25th week of pregnancy. Delegate Nick Freitas introducing a similar bill in the House. When a child can feel itself being aborted, I do think it's reasonable for people to step in and say, look, this is a line too far. Again, you've had four to five months to, to make that decision with no restrictions on your ability to do so. But even after winning back the majority, House Republicans say they're not planning to act on that proposal because there's no path to pass it. This even though one Democratic swing vote, Senator Joe Morrissey, previously suggested he would try to help Republicans revive the bill on the Senate floor. I am unapologetically pro-life. Senator Barbara Favola condemning the bill and calling Thursday's vote a victory for patient choice. What really bothers me is we continue to come up with legislation that interferes with this very private and personal decision. Meantime, other abortion bills are expected to be heard in the House tomorrow. One would require doctors to take steps to preserve life in the rare cases where a baby is born alive during an abortion procedure. It creates felony penalties for those who fail to do so. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco.